Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be why she hesitates making dates, making definite dates, I should say. I got an email here from a viewer. He says, hey, Corey, I've been following your work for some time now, and I've read your book. In your book, you mentioned the takeaway and how to use it. So I have a question. And by the way, the, the takeaway is when you're – this is really important. When you're trying to – because you want to make sure that you, A, set a date that a woman keeps, and B, you want to make sure you're setting a date with a woman who really wants to see you. And by handling the date appropriately on the phone will ensure you don't get stood up and you don't get rejected or jerked around by a woman. And so what I mean by the takeaway is like if you ask a girl out for a date and, and she says she's free Wednesday, and you say, great, I'll just see you Wednesday. And then she right before you hang up, she goes, well, just call me before you come to confirm. And when a woman says that, you just say, this is how you respond basically. You say, well, if you're not sure of your schedule, then why don't we just do it some other time when your schedule is a little bit more definite and then you shut up and you pause and you wait for her response because her response will tell you everything about her real intentions despite what she says about how she really feels about you and whether or not she actually wants to go out on a date with you so you're not waiting three or four days or a week to call her to confirm a date or plans and you're, you're going through the whole week going where the fuck do I stand with this girl by the time you hang up the phone you'll either have a date or you won't and you'll know whether or not this girl, you got a shot with her or not. And so when you tell a girl, well, if you're not sure, why don't we do it some other time? And it's important to say some other time and being vague that way because if she really wants to see you, when you pause after saying, we'll just do it some other time, that's the takeaway. In essence, you're just saying, well, you know, if you're not sure, let's just do it some other time because you want to make a definite date. Why? Because your time is valuable. And like for me, if I only got a couple of evenings a week where I'm free, I'm not going to lock up one of those evenings for a girl that tells me to, to call, for me to call her an hour before I come to pick her up just to confirm. Fuck that shit. Because what happens if I call her and she decides she doesn't want to see me and I end up talking to her voicemail? Because some women will do that. They'll tell you to call them and that way when you call to confirm, they'll never answer the phone and they won't respond to your text. They'll just ignore you. And that happened to me a lot when I was in my, my 20s. And I, didn't, I got jerked around a lot because of that. And so when I started doing the, the takeaway with drawing the offer, number one, it communicates confidence. And also, if the girl really, really doesn't want to see you, she'll just say, okay, we'll just do it some other time when, when you mention that. And you're like, all right, well, I'll talk to you later. And then what you do is you wait two weeks, you call her again, try to make a definite date, and she gives you the same shit. Just say, hey, give me a call when you figure out your schedule, and then you walk away. That's all, you know, especially if you tell a girl, well, just if you give me a call when you figure out your schedule, you got to wait for her to do it. And if she never calls you, that means she really didn't want to see you anyways. So, but if the girl wants to see you when you say, okay, well, let's just do it some other time then. You say, no, 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 I really want to see you. And just, but I'm not sure. I'd just say, hey, well, if I only got like one night open this week. And if you're not sure, I'd really rather not make plans. I'd rather make plans with somebody else that can give me a definite commitment. So if you're not sure, let's do it some other time. But if she goes, no, 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 I'm, you know, see, I really want to, okay, well, is Wednesday good for you then? Because if you're in, great. But if you're unsure, I'd, I'd rather just not make plans in. And see how, and so if she really wants to see you, she'll back up and she'll, she'll back off the you calling to verify nonsense. And that'll communicate confidence because women will do that one or two times. Either A, they're not really sure that they want to go out with you yet, or B, or they don't want to go out yet because maybe you've acted weak or done something that caused them to be, oh, I'm not really sure if I want to go out with this guy because he seemed a little weak or he seemed a little needy. And the other reason would be that they just flat out, they're using it as a reason to get off the phone and that way they can avoid you later because now you know they know that you're calling. They can avoid you later when you call to confirm and then blow you off or wait till the last minute and blow you off because guys will do that. And if they're not really that into a guy, that's the kind of response that they'll give. But by being confident and sticking to your guns and, and doing the takeaway, you can get a girl who's kind of on the edge. You're like, eh, I'm not really sure that I want to go out with them. When you do that, you're like, oh, because most guys won't do that. And then that's, that's kind of like on a scale of 1 to 10, that's where you're a 5 and she's really not that into you. But when you're, you handle the phone properly and in essence you're communicating, I'm not going to lock up my evening for you to maybe go out with me. I'd rather just make plans with somebody else who wants to see me, who is willing to make definite plans. That's what you're, in essence, communicating to her. 
And so if she likes you, she'll make the plans. And sometimes that's the difference between getting a date with a girl because when you accept the call to verify nonsense, 99.9% .9 of the time you're not going to end up going out with her. So if you have a question that you want to ask me, let me make sure. Let me, let me go through here. Let's go through this guy's email real quick. He says, I've been following your work for some time now. And so he says, I've been talking to this girl for about two months, and when I first met her, I was rushing things with her, but I caught myself, and now it's to the point where she's pursuing me. She's been telling me about going to a basketball game. So I told her that I would come over to her house, and we'd look up some games to go to. And after that, we would cook dinner together. She said, okay, she should be free to do so. And the day before I was supposed to come over, she texted me, and we talked for a bit. And then I asked her if we were still on to look up games and he puts in parentheses i know i shouldn't have done that but i asked anyways yeah because that's weak the only guy that ever says something like that is a guy who's used to getting blown off by women men who are used to women keeping their dates not only does that thought never enter their mind they would never even fucking say something like that he says she said she would let me know when she gets off work to which i replied well i make plans with people when they are definite so if you can't make definite plans how about we try another day and she replied like i said i'll let you know tomorrow it shouldn't be a problem though and she counter offered my counter offer for the future how do i handle this situation like that if she does it again just withdraw the offer you just said you say well i don't want to make plans if you're not sure of it and she'll either say definite plans or not and just say, well, you know, why don't you just give me a call tomorrow and we'll make plans then. So instead of making a date, she's going to call you tomorrow and then you'll make a date. But the day you originally asked her for or had, had made plans and when she gave this call back to verified crap, then that day has mysteriously become busy for you. And she says, well, how about Wednesday? Just say, oh, I made plans for Wednesday. But I got Thursday of next week open, or I got you know I I can't Wednesday, and so I'm full up for this week. But how about next week? When are you free next week? And so what happens is it communicates to her that if she's not willing to make definite plans to you, and then she waits a day or two, your schedule's gonna fill up because you're a fucking busy guy who's successful in life and successful with women. And so it communicates that there's your time is valuable and it's scarce. And then she'll realize, wow, if I don't make a date right on the spot, I'm probably not going to get a date with this guy. And so that's how I would handle it if I were you. So if you've got a question, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab on the left-hand side of your screen and send me one to two paragraphs maximum. And just give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which will be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook, on my website underneath the email sign up box is linked. It'll take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device already, just download one of their free e reader apps for whatever device you want to read it on. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters, the articles on my website, and my ebook, you can show your appreciation by going to my website right now. And on the Wibby toolbar at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.